In this video, I explain methods of obtaining maximum vacuum in a condenser. So, how the vacuum is create? Vacuum is create by removing the air from the condenser. So, there are a various four methods are there to obtaining the maximum vacuum in a condenser. First method is by using the air pump. Second method is by using steam jet air injectors. Third method, deorated feed waters. And four methods is airtight joint. So, first we understand the first method that is a air pump. Air pump are used to extract the air and other non condensable gases from the condenser to maintain desired vacuum and they are usually classified as means by using the air pump we remove the air and other non condensable gases from the condensers and we are able to make the vacuum in a condenser so there is a two type of pump is used first pump is the wet air pump and second one is the dry air pump from the word wet air pump what we understand we understand that Condensate is also removed by the same pump means air and condensate is removed by the same pump it is called as the wet air pump. So this pump remove a mixture of condensate and air with other non condensable gases it is called as the wet air pump. Second is dry air pump. So dry air pump is only remove the air and other non condensable gases only then it is called as the dry air pump means air and mixture of condensate is removed then it is called wet air pump in a dry air pump no condensate is removed only air and other non condensable gases are removed it is becoming increasingly common to have separate pump for extracting the air and the water from the condenser means recently there are separate pump is used in a condenser to remove the air and remove the Condenser means for removing the air, we use the separate pump, it is called as the air extraction pump. And for remove the condensate, we use the separate pump, it is called as the condensate extraction pump. Before moving towards the second methods, I request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to power plant engineering and other subject of this mechanical engineering. For power plant engineering, various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a car for other subject i request to visit the playlist now second matter is steam jet air injectors so what we understand from these words by using the steam jet we remove the air from the condenser it is called as the steam jet air injectors so it is used to remove air from the condenser when a wet pump is used so working principles of steam jet air injector is shown in this figure so here you see this is the figure of steam jet air injectors so what are the components in a steam jet air injectors so it is consist of conversion diversion nozzle and a diffuser means this part a to b is the conversion diversion nozzle and this part is the diffuser okay means steam jet injector is majorly consist of two components cd nozzle CD means conversion diversion nozzles and this part is the diffusers. So here also one pipe is there its name is given pipe C. From this pipe the air from the condenser is enter here. The steam at high pressure enter at A and fits directly the nozzle. Okay, So from the name I can explain that the steam jet is used to remove the air from the condensers. Okay, means this pipe C is connected with the condensers okay and from this point A we supply the steam and this steam is directly supplied in the nozzle. So in the nozzle what happen? The steam is expand. The steam is expand in the nozzle and leaves the nozzle at B with high velocity and a small pressure depending upon the vacuum in the condenser means in a conversion diversion nozzle velocity of a steam is increased and the pressure of a steam is reduced. Pipe C is connected to the condenser means this pipe is connected with the condenser from where the air along with small amount of vapor force it to mix 
with the low pressure steam at B. Means at this point B, the air from the condenser with small amount of the vapor and steam coming from the nozzle both are mixed here. Then this mixture of steam and air move forward into the diffuser D. Means at the point B, air from the condenser, steam coming from the conversion diversion nozzle with the high velocity is mixed. Then it is supplied in diffusers. In diffuser, what happens? Kinetic energy of the mixer is converted into the pressure energy and it leaves the diffusers. Means in a diffuser, kinetic energy is reduced and the pressure energy is increased, and then the steam and the mixture of air is leaves the diffusers. In the case of injector used for a steam power plants where high vacuum pressure is maintained in the condenser. It is necessary to use two or three injectors in a series to obtain maximum vacuums. Means, suppose the size of the power plant, means size of the condenser is larger. So, in a some places we can need to arrange more, means two or three injectors in a series. Means, after completing this one injector, the other steam injector is used. In other steam injectors, they are also connected with the condenser for removing the air. So, number of steam injectors are connected in a series. The steam jet air injectors are simple in construction, cheap, highly efficient, and the no moving parts in it. So, in this component, you know that is a no moving parts is there. Its construction are simple, cost is less, and they are highly efficient. Now third type is the deaerated feed waters the deaeration is the process of removal of non condensable gases from a feed waters means we use the already treated feed waters from these waters the non condensable gases is already removed then after it is used in a condensers so it help in maintaining the better vacuum in the condensers and controlling the corrosion of a steel cell and the piping of the steam power plants means by using the deaerated feed waters we can remove the non condensable gases from the waters we can also avoid the corrosions of the pipes as well as the cell four points that is the airtight joints so we know that in a condenser there is a various joints are there so we need to make this joints airtight so air is not entered from atmosphere to the condensers the air leak through the joints packaging and the glats into the condensers means from the condenser air is leak through the various joints various packings and the various glats so this can be reduced by proper workmanship while making the joints and these are maintained as such by proper inspections from time to time so here we need to do two types of the precautions first when we manufacture the condensers we need to proper workmanship and when these condensers are start to use at that time we are require time to time inspections to check the air leakage from the various joints so these are the various four matters are used to obtaining the maximum vacuums in the condenser so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to mechanical engineering subject.